you guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it too many hot walkers welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey okay as you see from the title we have a lot of ground to cover not just in this video but in upcoming videos if you guys have not done so already you know that i am doing a giveaway and i will post up here here of that video of the Louis Vuitton dupe alma from Babala Bags. If you have not done so already, like, comment, and subscribe, and leave a comment on that video as to why you want to win this bag. The giveaway closes today. So you have all of today, Sunday, to get yourself entered. You know my giveaways are very simple. It's a like, comment, and subscribe with a comment regarding why you want that bag. Those of you who are already subscribed, all you need to do is drop a comment and you are good to go. So either way, it's easy to enter to win. And like I said, it closes today. One lucky winner will be selected next Sunday, which is June the 16th. Do what you need to do, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment as to why you want the bag. And if you are the lucky winner, your name will be called June the 16th for this magnificent piece. We are going to get into it. I want to show you this bag that I received from Babala Handbags. But before we go there, the reason why we are going to have a lot of ground to cover in the next upcoming weeks, there are some big, big things that are going on behind the scenes. It involves a couple of things that I can't just talk about at the moment in the meantime you guys know that i have a couple of segments that i will talk about in videos regarding things that i find and i call those a run don't walk but i noticed that a lot of times those run don't walk things sometimes incorporate little luxury things that i think everybody should experience i like to share those things so that you can make up your mind if you want to pick up those things or not. So I decided that I'm going to segue some of those things out of Run Don't Walk. I'm still gonna keep Run Don't Walk segment, but I'm going to introduce a new component called Little Luxuries. Little Luxuries could be little tidbits that I pick up from Amaz or things that I find that I want to introduce you to. Not big, big things, but luxury little things that you can spoil yourself with. These are two examples that we're going to get into in the upcoming videos. But I wanted to let you guys know that, yes, there is going to be a new segment in addition to Run Don't Walk called Little Luxuries. Because, honey, you know we don't get keep here. We share things. So stay tuned, and that is coming. The thing that you guys are waiting for, I received from Babala Handbags a bag that they asked if I would be willing to review. I didn't select this bag. They asked would I be willing to do the review and I said yes. What came was this. If you recall about two videos ago, maybe three videos ago, I did a review of the Chanel 19 and I'll post up here here, Chanel 19 trumpet which I thought was the size large. It was not. That is considered the medium size. So you may want to go back and check that out. This go round, I ended up receiving the 19 trumpet in the large size, in the color beige. Hear me out on this. A little comparative with these as far as how they arrived in presentation. So I'm going to start there first before we even get into the discussion about this. Out of the gate, the one thing that I noticed, which was a big difference from the prior Black 19 I reviewed was upon opening the box, the presentation was a little bit different. If you recall, the 19 Black Trumpet came in the 
box with all the markings, beautifully packaged. Yes, it did come in a cardboard box, but inside the box was this hard box magnetic closure. And if you see here the presentation, sorry about the Camilla, but as you can see here, the presentation for the Chanel 19 trumpet in the medium size was much more of a beautiful presentation versus how I received this. And if you look at the video, you'll see once I opened the box, it basically went straight away to the bag. And this bag was bubble wrapped. The handle was covered in a light styrofoam cover and it came with its dust bag. Taking it out of the box, it was okay. It's not to say that this wasn't protected, but it was just more of a luxurious presentation with the other bag, 19 size medium that I reviewed versus how this came out of the gate. Let's just get into it. The first thing, big difference wise, is the size. And I am going to hold up the medium as a point of reference that you can see there's an extreme difference in size and you get a lot more versatility on this side of the fence. Now I'm not going to get into all of the knit and the grit, all the differences and nuances with these because it really is about the review of this bag. The thing that I like with this bag, it is an all leather bag. This is calf skin leather, so is the other. I did a little bit more checking with Babala. These are calf skin leather bags, so you don't have to worry about this being a faux leather piece. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that, but if you are concerned about these being leather pieces, they are all leather pieces. As far as what I can see, I will give it a 6 out of 10. And the reason being is there is a little bit of, and if you can see here, and this is not a critique, it is what it is. Uh, there is a little bit of leather that is like a little extra piece here and that's not a big deal it's not a deal breaker this is a dupe of the authentic i want to be upfront and show you everything that's going on with this because what it is a review sometimes these come perfect like the 19 right here which is the smaller size bag the medium size no issues no nothing but this just came with a minor little imperfection you get the back pocket with the magnetic closure you open this up this has stuffing all on the inside there are cards in the zipper portion cards in here and you get the plate and I did not take the plastic off of all of these pieces. I think if I were to buy one of these authentic, I would opt for definitely this size. You get a lot more of the ability to get the things in here that you need that are essentials. And then on top of that, some more if you should need more. This is the type of thing where I definitely would carry this as a I'm running around work bag. This is the perfect way to get that done. As far as markings, the handle, all of that is just like what you would get. I'm going to drop this cross body so to see what this is like. The chain falls very smoothly across the front flap of the bag. I'm going to show you the bottom. There are no feet. Turn to the side so that you can get the full aesthetic. I'm going to take this off. If you wanted to just carry it down, it'd be very easy to do. I'm going to step up the steps so that you can see. But it's just very versatile. You can easily drop this, carry it on your shoulder. Here, if you chose to do so, you can carry it in the crook of your arm. You could carry it down low. If you wanted to carry it like a football or something under your arm, like a sophisticated, edgy clutch, you could do that too. But the flexibility is just... The part that I really like is a great versatile piece. And I really like the size of this and how this looks when it's worn. You guys, this is the bag that I received from Babala to review. And if you're interested in this, you can go on over to their site and you can check out all of their offerings. And thank you so much for asking me to do the review of this bag. 
you guys ask tremendous questions about Babala, feel free to go over to their site and take a look around. They have the ability to chat within their site should you have any questions. If you're looking for something that puts you in a ballpark and you are interested in something like this, I would advise that you go over and you check this out. One of my feelings overall with both of these pieces in terms of the quality, I'd say between the two bags, I feel like this bag gives the look that you're going for and this bag gives the quality that you're going after. No issues, no nothing going on with this. The only thing that it doesn't allow for is the ability to get everything in here that you would so desire. See my rating, if you go and you check out the video that I did of this bag, you'll see what my rating was for this bag. For this bag overall, I am going to give it a 6.5 out of a 10. So you guys, there you have it. And that is what I have to review with you this week. The Dupe Chanel 19 a Trumpet in the large size. If you're interested in this, like I said before, head on over to Babala, check out their offerings, see if there's anything there that interests you, or if you're curious, just go over there and take a look around. If you do not want to miss out on all of the things that are coming, including the new segment, Little Luxuries, you know what to do. Like comment and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. You can head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. So anything there that you are interested in, feel free to leave a message there or you can head on over to Instagram. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM me there as well. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now. Don't forget, enter the giveaway. Zero. One.